Yo, what's up guys? This is the video you've all been waiting for, so I apologize for the delay, but uh, we're gonna be comparing the 034 Motorsports Stage 1 Plus E85 tune to the Integrated Engineering Stage 1 Plus E85 tune. So let's get into it. Okay, I do wanna mention a couple things about the car that we're gonna be talking about today. This is my B9.5 Audi RS5 Sportback. It has a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6. It comes with 450 horsepower stock. And these tunes with the upgraded high pressure fuel pump do elevate those powers to kind of crazy heights, like 604 horsepower on some dynos. Um, but this specific car we're looking at has all seasons. Uh, they're Michelin all seasons, so I don't even have the uh, Sport Contact 6 like summer performance tires that came with the car. They have stock rims. I've talked to people on the forums and these are forged, but they're pretty heavy. Uh, so stock rims and we're comparing these numbers to draggy numbers, but there is absolutely no other modification apart from the high pressure fuel pump. I do currently have a 034 Motorsports cold air intake installed, but we're gonna be comparing these numbers before I have that install done. So you'll see an accurate representation of what would happen if you bought any of these tunes and then got a high pressure fuel pump with some E85. Okay, now I wanted to make one disclaimer before we get into the video real quick. Two things really. Firstly, I am not a sponsor of either company or anything like that. These are these are tunes that I bought with my own money. Uh, stage one plus ECU tunes, stage one TCU tunes. Um, the car has been kept the exact same as we just talked about. Tires, wheels, no intake at the time. Everything like that is the same. Um, not sponsored by any company, okay? Number two, um, my testing process. So. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the exact same DA and exact same temperatures when I was running these quarter mile times. And so keep that in mind when we're talking about both these numbers. Um, they're gonna be very interesting results. So just keep that in mind. I'll point that stuff out when we're talking about the exact same numbers. Um, but yeah, that that's it. I just wanted to point that out. Not sponsored with either company. And number two, my testing process is a little off, but understand that these are the best times that I was able to get out of this car with the weather conditions that I had. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the 034 Motorsports Stage 1 Plus tune first. Uh, so 034 Motorsports, they claim 566 crank horsepower and 610 pound-feet of torque, uh, which equals up to roughly 470-something wheel horsepower. Uh, not bad at all for a car with very minimum hardware, right? We have a stage one tune and an operated high-pressure fuel pump. That's about it. Uh, with that being said, on this setup, on the perfect road with the best DA I can manage and the best launch, tried a bunch of different launch strategies, this is the best time I could get on Draggy. 1128, 122.34 miles per hour. Zero to 60 happened in 3.28 seconds. And DA was ideal, 261 foot DA. The road was amazing. It was freshly paved. There wasn't any weird slopes or anything like that. Had a lot of traction or as much traction as I possibly could have um, because there wasn't any ice, rain, dirt or anything like that on the road. Um, and this is like run one out of 20. So I tried multiple runs and I made sure to make the, or let the car cool down and stuff like that. But yeah, there's well, there's one thing absolutely crippling the 034 Motorsports tune and it is launch control. It's launch control strategy is nowhere near as sophisticated as stock or the integrated engineering tune. And you can see that in the 60 foot. If you know anything about drag racing, you'll know that the 60 foot tells you how well you're getting out of the hole, how well you are launching. And while these cars are all wheel drive, Quattro and this and that and the other, it, it doesn't really matter if you don't know how to manage the power off the launch. And you'll see that in the 60 foot. I've tried a lot of different attempts and a lot of different types of services. And the best 60 foot I managed to get with the stage one plus two was 1.75, nowhere near ideal. And I believe that's the one thing that's absolutely crippling this car is the launch strategy, right? You can try as hard as you can. You could pro I could probably optimize it a lot by getting stickier tires, uh, like smaller rims, lighter weight rims, lowering the car, putting a bunch of suspension mods, a bunch of different things. But it just, you'll see why I'm making such a big deal out of this when we talk about the integrated engineering tune. Um, but no, the, the 60 foot is just nowhere near where it needs to be. And so that's kind of why we're getting these times. A bit disappointing, but you know, still impressive numbers for just having one hardware mod and a tune. So yeah, let's talk about the integrated engineering tune now. Okay, let's talk about the integrated engineering tune. Um, they claim 600 
and four crank horsepower and 660 pound feet of torque. Um, and that roughly equals 523 wheel horsepower from what I just read. Uh, yeah, 523 wheel horsepower. So all these numbers are significantly higher than 034 Motorsports tuned. But it's important to note that 034 Motorsports does use a Mustang dyno to do their calibrations. And Mustang dynos do typically read less than something like a hub dyno or a dyno jet, which I believe that's what integrated engineering use. But that doesn't really matter. Let's check out the best time that I was actually able to get from the integrated engineering tune. Again, stage one plus, high pressure fuel pump, nothing else, stock setup, full weight. Uh, with the best DA that I could manage, um, the DA is a bit higher just because it's spring, the temperatures aren't nowhere near as cold as they used to be. But this is that draggy time, this is the best time that I was able to get from Integrated Engineering's tune. Yep, you're looking at that correctly. That is a 10.85 at 124.83 miles per hour. So that's basically 125 miles per hour. Uh, 0 to 60 happened in 2.95 seconds, and the DA was at 457 feet. So even worse DA than um, the 034 Motorsports tune. So you would think it would perform worse, but um, yeah, no, it's the road was kind of wonky. I'll tell you, it had a lot of potholes everywhere. So I was kind of dodging potholes, but it was the only road I could find uh, within my area to do that um, the quarter mile run. And I managed to get a 10 a five. Um, and there's one very specific slash important number that we have to focus on when we're talking about this drag you in, and that is the 60 foot one, six to 60 foot. You would think I changed tires to some kind of drag pack or something, but I promise you I didn't. I kept the all seasons on and it's the main thing about this tune is the launch control is significantly better than the 034 motorsports tune. The 034 motorsports tune, whenever I engage launch control and it didn't matter if on summer tires or all seasons, it would always slip at the very beginning, gather itself and then go leading to that 175 60 foot we just talked about. But the integrated engineering tune just off the stage one TCU tune. I don't have the stage two TCU tune or anything, but just off the stage one TCU tune and stage one ECU tune. Those are a bundle that's included one six to 60 foot. It is a significantly more sophisticated launch strategy. I'm not sure what they do or how they go about doing it, but you hold the RPM for as long as you want and you would just book it and go. And so that's the biggest difference between these tunes and how well they're optimized. I'm sure if I was able to get a great launch on the 034 Motorsports tune, I could probably get a time closer to this. Maybe, maybe not. But out of the hole with all season tires, the integrated engineering tune is by far the more sophisticated tune. And therefore, that's why it's able to run such an amazing um, quarter mile time at 10 a five. Yeah, so very interesting results from both tunes. Um, this is purely performance related and we're just looking at draggy numbers. Um, I will say that consistency for the uh, better draggy times for the uh, integrated engineering tune is there. You run multiple zero to sixties and like twos and then quarter miles and tens. You can do that kind of all day long with the right DA, but it, it's very impressive what they, they've done with this tune, just how well it gets out of the hole. Uh, and so therefore you get that better 60 foot and that, that uh, draggy time just is amazing, right? 10.8, what would have thought? 10.8 from, <laughs> from an RS5 with just a high pressure fuel pump with nothing else optimized. Um, uh, it's also very important that the integrated engineering tune does have more options. It has a stage two tune as well. So if you were to get downpipes, and they say downpipes don't add power, but like they do these cars, the 2.9 liter in this car sounds incredible with downpipes. And so the ones I do have on order, I will be switching to the stage two tune from integrated engineering, just so I can use those down pipes. I'm looking forward to that. Plus they have a phone app right now that's usable. Like just the other day, I went to the gas station and I filled up with 93, just because I was kind of getting tired of the E85 life and the really bad gas mileage. But you know, I went to the gas station, filled up with 93 octane, and then just plugged a dongle into the car. And then as soon as I was done with that, I just logged onto my phone uh, connected to the dongle and then switch tunes. It was that easy, right? And yeah, you could do the same thing if you had a uh, laptop with you and then you could do the same thing with the Interpol 034 tune if you had a laptop, but it's just so convenient. It's one of those things you don't realize is convenient until you do it, uh, but it's so convenient to be able to flash your car through your phone because you always have your phone with me and I do not always have my laptop with me. Um, but yeah, those are the results. Um, 
let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I will mention that I will be making more videos on both these tunes for different octanes. So 93 octane and 91 octane. We're gonna be comparing those numbers as well. Um, but if there's anything else I missed in this video, just like let me know in the comments or if you have questions, let me know in the comments. But get subscribed, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, if there's any video ideas either too, like if you have anything you wanna see out of this car, out of this page, um, let me know, let me know. So that's about it. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Peace.